Welcome to another episode of the Firepreneurs Podcast. We are continuing on with our Firepreneurs 101 series where we're kind of unpacking numbers, reading a profit and loss statement, understanding what's on a profit and loss statement. The preceding episode was about admin labor. We're kind of in the operating expenses section now of the P&L. So today's topic is admin fuel. And this one is, you know, it seems pretty self-explanatory. If you have been following along with the series, we covered fuel in the COG section, your cost of goods sold. That fuel is the fuel that goes in your trucks or your equipment to perform the service. Admin fuel is the fuel that you spend money on to fill up your take-home truck if you're the owner. If your take-home truck does not perform the service, then that take-home truck that may have your logo on it, right? If you're putting fuel in it, but that truck does not perform the service, that fuel would go in admin fuel. Why does it matter? Good question. I've heard that question asked that way before. And the reason it matters is because if you've started a business, you must have some kind of vision or dream of it becoming something bigger um, or creating some type of vehicle for your dreams to come true. And if that's the case, you need your business to run efficiently, smart, and, and produce numbers that are going to be sustainable and easy for you to understand and almost like a level of predictability. So breaking out your regular fuel and your admin fuel is just you as a business owner sharpening the financial axe and getting better at understanding numbers so that your business can do those things. Make your dreams come true, spit out a profit, grow and become bigger, whatever the case may be. Knowing the difference though between fuel for your cogs and fuel for your admin is only gonna make you a better operator. And that's ultimately what everybody in business needs to be working on, pursuing growth, getting better. Admin fuel, there is a distinction. If you're driving a 1500 and it's going out and doing the estimates, that means that fuel that was in that truck is supporting the business operations. Whereas over here, right, you're driving out to do the job, going out in the truck to do the work. And with the truck that you're in, that's the truck that performs the work. That fuel goes in your cogs. Understanding the distinction between the two and breaking them out on your P&L, it's going to matter as you grow your business and start to add more teams. And, and so that's why that's another reason why it's super important for you to know, because if you've got a business where you're the owner and you're the only one with a take home truck and right now you're a, a one dump truck junk removal company or you're a one uh, pickup truck and trailer pressure washing company. What happens when you become a four or five truck pressure washing company, or four or five van carpet cleaning company, right? And you still got this one truck over here. Well, clearly the fuel is going to be largely lopsided now. And if you just group your admin fuel in there, you're not getting a true read on what your fuel costs are to perform the thing. You're getting kind of a, a skewed view because you're grouping all your fuel in this COGS category. But the fuel that is being used, not all of it is for COGS, performing the service. Some of that fuel is for supporting the service. So again, you break out fuel in the same, I'm gonna be kind of a broken record here. Admin fuel broken out pretty simply. If it's fuel that's being used for team members that support the business, not do the thing or perform the service, then that fuel where you're supporting the business goes in admin fuel. This one's pretty uh, pretty quick, down and dirty. If you got any questions, let us know. That's the end of this one for t for now. So if you got value out of this, please click like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, click a ding on the bell for notifications for our next episode. Thank you guys for following along. See you in the next one. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Fire Producers Podcast. If you found value in today's episode, we please ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel or consider leaving us a five-star review on your podcast outlet. Take care, everybody.